Hey everybody, how you all doing today? It's a great afternoon. It's me, Andrew, and this is Great Days. Today, I'm going to be going into the imagination, and together we can expand our imagination, saturate the environment a little bit by projecting our unique painting and our brilliance. Okay? I even got a, a Bob Ross shirt. It says, ever make mistakes in life. Let's make them birds. Okay? Yeah. They're birds now. <laughs> That's it. All you have to do is transmute. All you have to do is change your mistakes or see your mistakes as launch pads you got to use your mind to grasp that mistakes are something to be used to build a better experience from let's say I was driving and my tire completely went out right well, some people will get furious, some people will arise that inner conflict, which most of us will. And then we will retreat to a complex in our minds that tells us that was a big mistake on our part. However, was it really a mistake? Was it more of a learning experience due to the fact that your tire needed to pop needed to fall apart needed to be destroyed in order for you to learn how to avoid the things on the road and or so you can learn how to change a tire or so you can go and get yourself a new set of tires making way for a better driving experience right that's how mistakes can be turned into birds or if you are literally just painting and you get a stroke of that environment wrong then all you have to do is add another stroke somewhere and keep flowing with the painting okay imagination though is the center topic of this video so imagination is all about allowing the mind to have fun and live life or just fall into the mind's capacity and understand the expansive nature of life. Pablo Picasso said everything you can imagine is real. So, if you start expanding your imagination, if you start using your imagination a lot more, you start living within your imagination 24-7, you will become so magical. You will literally be engulfed within a brilliance, a genius. This is the truth. You will become a painter. You will become an artist going through life fluently. You will be harmonizing with the cosmos ever so swiftly, ever so easily. This is the profound potentials that the imagination can bring us. Human imagination is a beautiful thing because it's 
it's like a spaceship in a way it is able to go anywhere in the universe and you are then able to bring it right back to your body and fluently communicate this or portray it out to other people and then they can in turn take their place and imaginate some great portrayal of their own or an experience because those who are dwelling within the imagination completely in utter awe are artists right they're artists they are um, metaphysicians okay they are very metaphysical beings the imagination is expanding inwardly like if you know the grays the the aliens that are very scrawny with gray bodies and have giant bulbous heads these are beings who have fell into the imagination and expanded their imagination to the point where they started um, they created a body within the field of imagination and used this field of imagination to then travel the universe and evolve it's the literal truth about the greys if you don't know the greys do a little research and you'll find out that they fell into their imagination meaning they expanded their imaginations to the point where their bodies were no longer being needed to its full necessity and they transcended the ego basically and uh, that allowed them to I believe travel the cosmos like I said and furthermore I, I believe that the greys are humanity that took on that expansion of imagination within their evolutionary path to travel the cosmos to learn more imaginatively and then come back via time travel or traveling through space and time to steer humanity before they decided to take on the expansion of the imagination on their evolutionary path so yeah that was far out that's uh, the greys the little bulbous headed aliens which is literally humanity who expanded their imagination to the point where they were able to travel the entire universe to come back via space time travel and further evolve the same humans who they once were. Imagination, like I said, and Pablo Picasso said, is completely real. Everything you can imagine is real think about that let your imagination blossom literally let it blossom 24 7 and see what happens let it take its hands and steer your wheels let it drive your car and see where you go I bet you you will become the world's best artist literally People who are caught in the imagination are said to be within madness on some occasions. However, madness is truly a pigment of the mind that is always granting one a multitudes of gradients. Literally, it's... It's brilliance, but heightened is what madness is. Madness is genius heightened 
to the point where nobody else can understand you. That's why it's called madness. It's a beautiful state and it can come from living within your imagination, which is just as much as a beautiful state. And it's needed because it's there for a reason. You know, this is why we must blossom an ident blossom an identity that continuously lives within the imagination and your life will literally become a poem or a painting or an art an act a beauty you know this is where imagination can put you and see it as completely real. What I imagine is not just some facade or is not just some delusion or delirium. What I imagine is literally my mind's capacity, its function, bringing in environmental factors which are completely concrete in reality in simpler terms I'm trying to tell you that the imagination and what you imagine is literally real and people have been disconnected from this because they put the imagination off as something that is not real but in reality your imagination is you basically painting or in scientific terms or in anatomical terms your imagination is literally your brain functioning and bringing you that knowledge and they call it imagination. So whatever I imagine is me knowing something and they put that off on you. They tell you that you're just imagining things, but it's real, it's literally real. Your imagination, what you imagine things is a real space within your mental body, okay? have that integrate that within your self and cultivate a identity that dwells within the imagination as much as you can because your life will completely blossom in a new way and it makes way for the greys the aliens because once we expand our imagination, reason why they have bulbous heads because they expanded the brain's capacity to the point where they could use their imagination to travel to any realm in the cosmos and then come back to give us that information and that experience that they then went through to then create themselves. This is the story of the greys and it's a true story. If you want some further concrete proof then you could go read your book you could go read yourself a book on the greys the ETs the extraterrestrials us but dwelling within the infinite imagination I thank you for watching and go fall into that beautiful imagination of yours go go mad you know go mad for love go paint go paint yourself something today go literally sit outside and imagine things do what you love okay peace positivity generate some static subscribe right here click upon this video generate some more static from your fingertips like this like Nikola Tesla and have a great day thank you for tuning in